Hello everyone, welcome to vlog number eight. Here it is, another week in our BrickLink store. Should be pretty fun. As you guys know, last week we didn't add a ton of parts. It was actually a pretty sad week in terms of, uh, um, what do I want to say, growth, I guess, and expansion. Um, so, this week we're hoping to uh, get a lot more done. First of all, in the stream, well today is Sunday. Um, so in the stream yesterday, uh, I talked about you know, how we're going to do a thing when we are uh, a stream like when I'm picking orders, when I'm, uh, once we have a cart. So the plan, if you don't know already, is to get a cart because currently, let me, uh, let me show you. So essentially I come over here, if you don't know, see what we need in the order, see the item, and then I take, you know, that information that I just saw, walk down to whatever drawer I'm supposed to go to. Let's say it's 1923, maybe two pieces I pull out, maybe I forget how many pieces I need. So then I pick out the whole drawer, take it off the wall and then I might walk back to the table. Um, and then after that, if I did take the whole drawer, I have to put the drawer back if I didn't remember how many pieces I needed. So it's a whole massive, terrible process. So we're going to get a cart, and I'll probably order it this week, actually, um, in terms of, uh, you probably won't, I don't know, it might not arrive. Depends who I order it through. But uh, we're going to get a cart that we can you know, have here and something with like an iPad or some sort of tablet, and then we can go up the entire aisle, you know, see whatever pieces we need, go pick this order. And then in, in our case, currently, we're going to turn down the aisle and finish at the end here, but it'll be much, 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 much more efficient than uh, what we've been doing. But anyway, in the stream yesterday, what I was talking about was um, it's going to be a little bit harder to shoot a picking and order video once we have a cart. Now, a lot of people were like, oh, just get a GoPro and stuff. And the thing is, this is the camera we use. The camera's not the problem, actually. The camera's, oh, no, I think it's on manual focus. So I'm out of focus. I apologize. I think I'm in focus now. But last week, the whole thing was out of focus. Um, anyway, this is the behind the scenes little thing where we, at least what I use personally to run the stream. So this is our small little mixer here. This can cut between different inputs. For example, here, you can see the different inputs. Uh, currently, we only have one, which is the computer. I guess if I, uh, if I do this, I think it'll... Nah, usually this, whatever's on the laptop, would play back. Yeah, show on the computer. Um, and then camera one is usually our input, which in this case would be this camera, if it was sitting, like, right there, roughly, when I'm packing orders. Um, so it's not like the smallest setup. Obviously, it doesn't need to be this big. I could probably you know, make it a little more compact and stuff. But that's a thought that I'm trying to figure out is how exactly do I want to continue doing these picking streams while I'm walking on a cart? Because I prefer not to just stream from my phone. I like to be able to put like an overlay on that says, you know, like who we're picking. Unfortunately, I didn't do that yesterday. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling now at this point. But uh, this is the aftermath of picking yesterday. These are drawers that are half empty. Um, you can see, you know, that definitely can have another lot go with it. So I'm going to consolidate this. Usually we don't come into the Brickling store on Sunday too much, um, but today was a little different. I actually came in and, uh, what did I do? I packed three orders, and then my plan was to consolidate a lot more. So I'm actually going to consolidate um, tonight. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. We'll see. Um, and then I wanted to get the vlog started. This week's going to be a lot more parting out and hopefully uh, uploading some used pieces as well. I know we have some used minifigs that have been cataloged and are ready to be uploaded. So we'll do that for sure. So uh, this is Sunday. It's the end of the day on Sunday now, uh, so you'll see tomorrow, which is uh, Monday, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, we'll go to Monday. Okay, here we are on Tuesday. I'm working on consolidating all of these. Like I said, this is the aftermath of uh, Saturday packing. I think I packed like 12 orders, and that's what we ended up with. Um, unfortunately, so I laid these out. I was going to put this stuff in them. Our barcode scanner is not working, so that's me holding the button down. And occasionally the little red barcode thing will, uh, will, will light up. For the most part, and even if I push it in different directions and stuff, I think something's wrong with it. The little there should be a red light in there that kind of turns on that'll actually scan a barcode, but uh, it is not not working. So this is one of two. We do have a second one over there, um, so I guess I can get that one used over here. But uh, very sad. We might. Uh, this one was nine dollars on Amazon. Uh, it's usually I think fifty dollars, and it was like used. And it was used not like new, it was used uh, like okay condition. So, unfortunately, I think our $9 has uh, run out and it uh, might be time for a new scanner over here. All right, here's where we're at with the barcode scanner. It has uh, since been taken apart and all the circuit boards have been pulled out. My conclusion is there's a little, very little connection here. This is the button portion where you actually click the button. You can see right now it's working as it should. When I push the button down, the light turns on. And that's because these connections down here are being held firm in place. The problem is when you put this in, it kind of pulls the wire kind of like this. Yeah, like that. 
and it is no longer a strong connection, so when I push the button, the red light does not turn on, but if I fold it like this way, or kind of push it in a little bit, you can see that the red light, well, kind of, turns on. So uh, the reason I took it apart is because I realized uh, that they're $66 on Amazon right now, which is not worth it, because um, we have it. So I'm going to try to fix this. I don't know if I, I don't know exactly how to do it, but uh, we'll see if I can fix it. Um, also, it's Monday, not Tuesday. I made a mistake uh, in the last video, but yeah, I'm going to try to put this back together. Unfortunate conclusion on the barcode scanner. I don't know how to fix it. It's like something to do with the circuit board. So I've moved over here, and this is now where I'm doing the consolidation. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain to have to go back and forth and back and forth, but at least we have a second one right here that does work. So we'll have to get another one. I don't know if we'll use this brand. Um... You know what, I'll buy I'll buy one this week. I was going to ask what you guys use, but I don't want to wait until, uh, like, Friday. Today's only Monday. I want another one pretty soon. Um, so I'll have to replace it, but I was going to ask what you guys use. Uh, but if you want to, go ahead and let me know what you guys use. If you have a barcode scanner, um, in the description below, and I can take a look at all those and stuff, And just in case we haven't purchased one by then. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish consolidating here, and then I have a few orders to pack. And then uh, I'm going to upload some minifigs, some used minifigs. Um, that was my plan today, uh, until we had this barcode debacle thing, uh, so yeah. Uh, okay, let me finish this. Alrighty, here we are. Paul and I just filled up the entire shelf. So this is a, a mix of all the things that we got, um, uh, what, mid last month? Um, a lot of new sets, so we've kind of prioritized a few city things. Um, so most of these sets we've never parted out before. Um, so we have some city things here. Can't get it down. These are the rocket sets there. These are the hidden side busts. We got six of those from Walmart. Uh, got a few more Ninjago things. Ninjago is selling wonderfully in our inventory. So there's a few of these Spinjitsu things. Um, we did part some of these out, but we've sold many figs. So we're going to part those out again. A um, few more little Ninjago things back there. Some Ninjago sets right there. You can see some classic sets. Not the 1500 piece sets, but some other stuff. Uh, these are a hidden side. Uh, what is this one? This is the uh, Jack's Beach Buggy. Never parted that one out before. Um, we also got this Hidden Side Fairground set. That's in here. There's some Star Wars back there behind this. Some more city here. A couple of the the uh, princess ones, the Disney princess. And we also have a couple of the Olaf sets in the back. Um, what else? That might be it. We have another city set back there. Um, let's see. What else can I see? Um, oh, and then, of course, the five Batman sets that we got as well. So now Paul is working on... Uh, we're going to clean up... Uh, we have all five boxes laid out. We didn't want to do one box at a time. Uh, as you can see, these are, again, not going to be a priority. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're working on packing these boxes up so we can fit them hopefully in, like, three boxes now, get rid of a couple of them, have some more room in the store. And then uh, Paul's actually going to begin parting out today. Or uh, I think he's going to do this one over here. This is a LEGO Movie 2 set. This is the Wild Mayhem Starfighter. Okay, so on Monday, I want to show you guys our lot count. 4,722 lots. Now, today is the 22nd, so... As you guys know, our goal was 5,500 lots by the end of this month. Now, that does mean we need to add 778 lots in just about a week. Uh, we have today, yeah, we have seven days, I believe, uh, to, including today, um, I think, unless I'm doing my math wrong, to add 788 or 778 more lots, which is going to be a little rough. I'm not going to lie. We've sold quite a few lots in the past few days. We were almost at 5,000, and then a uh, few days we lost a couple hundred lots. So uh, that's definitely a goal. Paul is working on, I don't know if he mentioned this or not, but he's working on parting out this set here. This is the uh, set 70849. It's the Wild Mayhem Starfighter or something like that. So he's parting that out. This will add some lots to our store. And then I'm going to upload some used minifigs after I finish packing some orders over there. But yeah, lots of work in the next week to get done. Um... Hopefully, we can get through a good amount of this shelf, and that'll add. We, we have the Lego to add. It's not like we don't have enough pieces to be able to add. The question is just if we're going to be able to add them before the end of the month. But 5,500 lots is our goal. We're really going to push forward uh, with that right now. Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday today, and uh, I have already parted out something. I forgot to record a vlog when I first got here, but uh, this morning I parted out this city set here. And then I'm also going to be trying to uh, get through all of these. We need to upload like 700 parts plus whatever we sell this week. So it's going to be super crazy. I'm also packing orders right now. And I'm going to try and get through all that before I finish these. And I've also got a ton of consolidation to do. Which I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to get around to that. But uh, that's my goals for today. So 
I'll keep you posted as I go. Alright, so I've got everything that I'm planning to consolidate out over here, and you might wonder why it's over here. Normally we do consolidation over there. Well, that is because the, uh, the scanner that we had over there has broken, unfortunately, and so I have to come and do it over here, and this one might be on its way out too. Um, we have some tape over here, which we use to uh, keep the scanner uh, taped down so that it charges. You need to put pressure on it to get it to charge, so we might be having new scanners soon. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure on that. We'll definitely be having another one, but uh, we'll see if this one dies or not. Uh, we're going to try and push it to the end of its life, but I'm going to go ahead and consolidate all these, uh, before try and do that before we get our next order, and then I'm going to go ahead and tackle some of the problem drawers, so we'll cover that when I get there. Okay, so now that I've finished consolidating, I've pulled out our problem drawers. So these are drawers where something is wrong with them. Some of them need photos. Um, some of them might be incorrect numbers. Some of them might not be in the inventory um, or just lots of other problems. Um, so I'm going to go through, recount all these. Um, not all of them have notes, so I kind of just have to try and figure out what's wrong with them. Um, I know that I put these two in there. Um, because I had labeled them as the wrong piece, so I have to correct that. I took them out of the inventory, but I have to go ahead and correct that. I, I had mislabeled these as four um, instead of three long. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and um, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Hopefully after that, I'm going to start on these frozen sets over here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday. Um, today I'm going to be trying to pack some orders, well I'm going to be packing some orders, parting out one set hopefully, and then I'm also going to be getting some used ready to go out to our first contractor uh, who's going to be sorting that for us, and we're going to be cataloging it ourselves, but we're just going to be sending it out to get sorted, so I'm going to try and get that all set up and get some printouts ready for them and uh, all that stuff and uh, pack orders and, and do a set, uh, maybe two, we'll see uh, how long I can't be in here all day today. But uh, I'm still going to try and get some stuff done. So I will uh, catch up with you as we make it through the day. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. Uh, today, uh, I am trying to part out, uh, well, I have parted out three sets. And uh, I'm going to try and get one more done. Uh, mostly Ninjago sets today. The last one I'm going to try and part out is this uh, mech-looking thing here. Um, and uh, I've already done a couple of the, the spin sets. Um, and uh, Kyle packed some orders today, so... He's now um, uploading the last set that I just parted out and one of those spin sets, like I just said. And uh, then I'm going to try and get through this last one, and then uh, I think I'm going to clock out for the day. So um, hopefully, uh, well, a lot has been done today, and we're really trying to hit that, uh, that goal of 5,500 pieces. But uh, I think we'll hit it, but not, in the, not by the end of this vlog. So uh, hopefully the start of next vlog will be us hitting that. So goodbye. All right, everyone, so that is going to be the end of the vlog. Today is Thursday, uh, February 25th, so we have 26, 27, 28. That is it. We have three more days to hit our goal of 5,500 lots. So real quick, I want to show you what we're at right now. Let me turn the camera around and stuff here. You can see we are at 5,051 lots. So at the end of today, or, or a little bit earlier today, it's now nighttime. I had to fin film the outro of the vlog. We were at 5,100 lots, so we had a, a couple orders since then, unfortunately. Um, lots are selling out, which is good, obviously. Uh, once again, we're having a problem where we're getting too many orders, but we still, still need to add 450 new lots. Now, in theory, over the next three days, I'm expecting that we probably need to add actually like 550 to 600 brand new lots because some of them are going to continue to sell out. So, uh, with that being said, Paul and I are going to be streaming tomorrow. I don't know if Kyle can join us. If he can, we can all stream together. I'm not sure, though. Um, but tomorrow is Saturday. If you're watching this, obviously, when it comes out, join us for our stream at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time um, on our channel, and we'll be parting something out. I don't know exactly what it'll be yet. But also, next week's vlog, you guys will get to find out the answer if we hit our goal of 5,500 lots. It's going to be difficult, not going to lie. This is a challenge this month. We, we wanted to add, I think, 1,500 lots this month, which would have put us at 55. Um, but we're having a difficult time doing that just because we're getting so many orders and stuff this month. So you guys can also look forward to next week when we have the monthly sales recap. The numbers this month are fantastic, and I'm super excited about that. Another thing is we've talked about how we're going to rearrange the store a little bit, make it more efficient and stuff, so that's coming in the next few weeks as well. Um, but yeah, the next three days our goal is to add a lot more lots to our store. We have some used minifigs that Paul's already cataloged. We just need to upload them, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. 
um, but you'll see that on next week's vlog when you guys can find out if we actually hit our goal of 5500 lots and what our goal is going to be for next month so thank you guys so much for watching as always if you like the video go ahead and click the thumbs up if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe welcome to the channel and uh, also if you want to check out our discord and patreon those are both pretty cool um the patreon obviously uh gives you a little bit more perks which we're working on ramping up and the discord is awesome we got a lot of cool people in there that help you out with bricklink and lego related stuff so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next vlog Thank you.